In this video, we're gonna use iClone 8 and no facial motion capture to create this animation. So if you like, subscribe and stuff. All right, so I have no idea how this final animation looks like because I doing it now. So first things first, we're gonna do our voice. So let's go create script, record voice, and let's just go for it. I have no idea. In this video, we're gonna use iClone 8 and no facial motion capture to create this animation. So if you like, subscribe and stuff. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Let's click okay to that. From here, let's um, move up this bottom area. And so on our character, we can press the drop down here and we want to see the V seams and the expressions. And let's come back down into here. V seams will increase. So now we can see the waveform. Uh, technically, if I were to just press play, but we'll just shorten the clip to here. And if we just press play, in this video, we're gonna use iClone 8 and no facial motion capture to create this animation. It's, you know, it's okay, but let's go further. So let's go right click now on our wave file and we're gonna go into a Qlips. Uh, yeah, we'll go continue to that one. And we're gonna go generate text and it's done its best to work out everything that we've said. Now, obviously it's a little bit of a hit and miss. So if I were to press play in this video, we're gonna use iClone 8. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of order it into every sentence. So iClone 8, and this kind of just makes life a little bit easier. And it just kind of helps just to organize, I find it. So this is kind of like the workflow that I go. For now, I'm just gonna fix up all the spelling mistakes. So just give me a moment. And so now we have set this all up. What I'm gonna do is just select everything and let's go align selected. And so technically now, when we come back in, we should see it a lot better. So let's just listen as it goes through. In this video, in this we're, video gonna we're gonna use iClone 8, 8 and no, and no facial, motion facial motion capture. Perfect. Okay, so I really like how that goes. And with that now, I'm going to hit apply. So if we look at this, it's not too bad. And no facial motion capture to create. Like you can read the lips quite clearly. Um, and this is gonna be the, the basis of our animation. So now if we come over here into the facial puppet, we open that up. Down the bottom here, we've got solo features. Um, if we kind of maybe start off with the mouth, I don't don't really need to worry about the jaw because the mouth is opening. So let's just kind of go with the mouth and we'll do a preview. And so this is how cool this is. All right. And so we control like a puppet. So depending on our, where our mouse cursor is, is what the action is. Now I'm just kind of hoping that you would have a bit of a frown. Why are you not frowning, buddy? Let's go blend maybe. Um, we do have a whole bunch of other faces we can do. So for instance, maybe if I select Christian and we highlight, we can go scared, happy, sad, angry. What does angry look like? So if we go space, you can see that we control everything. But if you go happy, hey, hey, woo. But I want more, I just want him to smile for now. No head rotation. So this button here is the head rotation. This is tilt. I don't want any of them. I just want to be focusing on the lips. So from here, what I can do is, is I can press record. And if I press enter, we go at 50%. Or if I go spacebar, we go at normal rate. So let's just go spacebar. Uh, in this video, we're gonna use iClone 8 and no facial motion capture to create this animation. So if you like subscribe and stuff. Beautiful, good way to end it. So if we kind of watch it through. Video, we're gonna use iClone 8 and no facial motion capture. That's not bad, it's okay. I think we could do some more work on it. From here, if we look at the eyes, all right, so that's blinking. So let's do maybe just the eyes for now. Let's just, let's, let's just, See what happens. I'm just gonna press play. Um, actually with this one, maybe what we will do is add in head rotation and that one, uh, head tilt. So if I were to go preview. So I think one thing is once we start blinking, that'll hopefully bring a lot to it. So let's go with the blink preview. I just wanna make sure he blinks. Beautiful, let's go like so. In this video, we're gonna use iClone 8 and no facial motion capture. <laughs> I love the pose at the end. 
So it's coming together. Uh, what else can we do? So let's do maybe a little bit more head rotation. From here as well, I think we could probably do a little bit more work with the eyebrows. So let's have a look. What does this one do? Not done like that. I think it's more maybe the issue at the moment is that he's not looking at the camera. In this video, we're going to use iClone 8. Or maybe he is, but he just seems he's kind of like over here. So let's just give him maybe a little bit of eye movement. So I've got the eyes selected now and let's just have a look what happens. In this video, we're going to use iClone 8 and no facial motion capture to create this animation. So if you like subscribe and stuff. I am fairly happy with this. Um, I know we could probably spend a whole bunch more time uh, molding it and doing more and more to it, but it's more, I just wanted to give you a very quick overview of some of the things that you can do. You just keep doing passes rather than having to keyframe everything. We can just kind of smash it out with the puppet tool, need to redo it, redo it, go for gold.